Hi guys, what's up? It's Momo here. Welcome back to my channel. This is my second video and I'm super excited. And first things first, I want to say thank you very much to all those guys that showed me a lot of support for my first video. You guys are awesome. You guys are super cool. I'm super grateful. And number one, I would like you guys to subscribe and like and share. That would be very awesome. Let's go along together. First five things that I think about when I think about China. First of all, you have to know that I love this place. It's super cool, it's super awesome. And with the culture and the people, I've learned some amazing facts and some amazing myths, I think, but they're all cool, they're very interesting, and I'd like to share them with you. Number one, food. So, among the first things that you should know when you enter a place, or the first things that you notice is, you know, the food. Like, what does the food taste like? What are their habits and etiquette regarding food? So the first, I think the most important thing that you should know about the Chinese culture when it comes to food is the chopsticks. These guys use chopsticks and I think that is pretty much known by everybody. But what you need to know is that you're not supposed to put the chopsticks standing in the dish or in a bowl. Like if they host you and the chopsticks are like that in a bowl, that means that you're wishing the host dead. <coughs> Don't do that. It's, it's awful. Don't do that. So, yeah, if you're eating with the chopsticks, you could just put them on the side or put them on top of your bowl. It's good, but not vertical in the dish. That is an abomination. And the second thing about chopsticks you shouldn't do is... No, no chopsticks. Food. The second thing about food you shouldn't do is don't finish your food from the plate if you're done eating. Or the host will assume you want more. So the more you finish the food, the more they add. The more you finish, the more they add. And you'll probably not understand why the hostess keep giving you food. But in their culture, when you finish the food, it means that you want more. So if you're done eating, just it's safe to leave some food on the plate. They get that. Two, gifts. So, and everybody likes gifts. I like gifts. And Chinese people like gifts. But like, the thing about gifts is that if you give a person the gift, they most probably will refuse it. You know, they'll be like, no, don't give me, don't give me. Or they refuse it once, or refuse it twice, three times. So if the person refuses your gift, it doesn't really mean they don't like your gift. It's just their culture. They, it's polite to not insist. So it's your job to insist on giving them the gift, and most likely the third time they will take the gift. So even just in general life, when you take a bus and like you're sitting on on a bus and an old person comes in and you want to offer them a seat they most likely will refuse to sit down and you have to insist like three times and then they'll finally sit and say thank you so it's just them and also it's important to not be offended if you give them a gift and they don't open it right in front of you and they just put it aside it's not that they don't like it it's just you know they open the gifts later and also on the aspect of gifts if you're offering a gift i think you should note that the most safest colors, or the most safest, the safest colors to go with in the Chinese culture is red and gold. You should probably stay away from black and white. It's not as popular, you know. Don't use black and white. Red and gold is the color to go to. Three business cards. So, you know, like as you meet people, as you make friends, they have their own ventures. They like to promote themselves or. You're in a business meeting and this person is like kind enough to offer you their services through a business card please remember to receive the business card with both your hands like that both your hands if you take a business card with one hand you might not think much of it but in their culture it means you're looking down on their business you're despising it or you don't think much of it so please remember to take a business card with both your hands and also you will not as they give you the business card they use both their hands so you know I think that kind of makes sense. Don't think too much about it. Just use both hands. And the other thing, I think, one of the funniest and strangest, I think, which is my fault, green. I think diff I've come to realize that different cultures have a different understanding of green. I realize that Americans also have a thing about green. But in Chinese culture, if you wear a green hat, it means a green cap. It means that your wife is unfaithful to you. Yeah, like the wife is cheating on you. I don't, I don't understand why a person would want to share that with the public. Like, if your wife is cheating on you, you probably want to give it to yourself and deal with it in the family. But yeah, here, if you wear a green hat, that means you're telling the public that your wife is unfaithful to you. Now, I've never seen that. Well, 
consciously never seen that so i don't know how people would react to that like if you wear a green hat i don't know if people are like sorry man or what what happened you know like stuff like that so i don't know but you should know that wearing a green cape here means that your wife is unfaithful to you i don't know what women wear when their husbands are unfaithful to her you should probably make it a thing so number five and my last one is spitting now this is not a fact or it's not something that is celebrated or funny because it can get very irritating when you come especially in the northeast where i'm at people spit a lot now i'm not talking about dignified spitting guys it's crude collected it's not like spit my god oh my god it's a thing they spit a lot and it's not a thing for them like they don't really find it irritating because they've grown up all their life doing that that's all they know so it's not a thing so if you're a foreigner and you come to the northeastern side of china and you find that the, the natives here spit a lot it is okay to feel irritated but it is okay to also be sure to get over it so yeah those are like the five five first five things that i think about when i think about china or the things that i've particularly experienced and shared with my friends some of the things i didn't experience i just learned over time and yeah and my last thing that you should probably know is that i love you guys for watching this video i hope you like it give it a thumbs up share subscribe let's go together <laughs>